But as the 16th century wore on into the 17th century, there was a growing concern. Now that we have reformed the externals of the church, how do we continue to ensure that there will be true faith, true piety, true devotion in the hearts of the people? And one of the growing concerns was what we could call formalism. It was what Paul was concerned about when he said some people have the form of godliness but deny the power of it. It's possible to have the externals just right and yet have people come to church and just take a nap, either literally or figuratively. How do you ensure that there will be true faith, true piety, true devotion in the lives and hearts of God's people? And one of the great movements that was concerned about that is the movement that came to be known as Puritanism. Puritanism, an English phenomenon, but with great impact beyond England. And I suppose a good place to begin is to say, are you a Puritan? I don't know how you react to that word. Some people have very negative connotations to the word Puritan. Just like uh, some people say, you're a scholastic, meaning you're too precise and too dead. Some people say you're a Puritan, meaning you're just too negative about everything. Um, in the 19th century, uh, uh, one person defined Puritanism or defined a Puritan as someone who feared that somewhere someone was having a good time. Um, I don't think that's fair at all. The Puritans were uh, actually rather fun-loving people in their own sort of peculiar way, uh, and uh, are not at all to be seen as uh, characteristically dreary and uh, um, uh, opposed to anybody having fun. What they were concerned about was how there could be purity and liveliness, true faith in the life of the church. 